Hi, I'm Lorna Jackson, and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and pioneer, trainer, and author. Now, I've specialized in spiritual regression therapy for over 16 years, and I've trained with many of the pioneers in this field. And I've regressed well over 2,000 people since I began. Now, my therapies can help people overcome many problems. Um, my clients have often tried mainstream therapies such as CBT or talk therapy with no success before they find me. Now, perhaps you're watching this video because you have booked a session with me. And I just wanted to share with you some of the questions that I've been asked over the years about spiritual regression and what to expect at a session. Now, people often ask me, what does the process involve? Well, we'll begin your session by briefly talking about you regarding the challenges that you're encountering and the reasons that led you to a past life regression with me. Now, this part of your session is very important because it will provide the information needed so that later during your session, if possible, I can communicate with your higher self or your guides and ask the right questions to access deeper meanings and to connect current life problems to those perhaps experienced during your regression. So past life regression involves the individual being guided into a deep, relaxed state and guided through an appropriate past life from the first scene and then gathering information along the way through the various events and eventually through to the death scene. Now your subconscious mind will select the past life to show you that is most appropriate. Now this life in most cases is relevant to the current life that you're living now. And it's not uncommon for multiple past lives to be shown during a single session. So we navigate through a past life using a series of questions to help determine the time period and social setting of that life. I guide you through the significant events of the life, through to the death, and then we review that life at the end to understand the lessons learnt and how they connect to the current life. Now decisions made are then examined from a higher perspective and therapy is done here. Now a typical session takes around two hours and is recorded and the recording I do is then sent to you a few days after your session. Now, during a session, you'll need to allow images and feelings and knowings that come to you to develop. No matter how insignificant they may seem at the time, you should not brush them aside or disregard them. And I help to guide you through those. Now, they could be the threads that pull you in and allow for the story to develop. Remember, no movie is delivered to you in a single second. Now, it's important not to be concerned if you think that you experience what you experience is real or not. You really need to allow it to flow and to flow with it, to flow with the information that comes, which if you allow yourself is really easy to do. Now, every regression is a unique experience and for some it's a visual experience, but for others, information is given through knowing feeling and often sounds. Now some people think they're making it up and the information they receive during the session and doubts may creep in that they doubt themselves. So it's important that you understand that ultimately it doesn't matter if it's real or imagined. Even if the information you receive is a metaphor that your mind is bringing up, the most important thing is that you get the information and the wisdom that will make a difference in your current life. Now, the reasoning behind this is your current life is the most important life of all, right now, in here and now. So whether it's real or imagined, who knows? So a lot of my clients and the people who have researched past lives have found evidence of the lives remembered and were blown away by the experience. And sometimes the healing can occur from a session. But it must be stated that healing can only occur 
if an individual is ready to be healed, and if it does not interfere with the goals of their lifetime. We are infinite souls who have incarnated on earth for our own individual experiences. And the subconscious of a blind person would not heal sight if being blind was one of the key aspects of this life that they agreed to experience. Nor would it heal a physical problem someone has created through the lack of care for their body if they had not yet learned the lessons to love and respect their body. So it's very literal in its thinking and there are no guarantees. So by understanding our past lives, we can understand our current life much better and gain a clearer vision of who we are and our soul's purpose in this lifetime. So past life regression is a therapeutic technique and is an important addition to the healing art. So by bringing past life memories into conscious awareness, we can diffuse energy and emotional blockages that can keep us stuck. Now, some people come for a session just for curiosity, but most, for most, the session is a part of their spiritual growth and healing journey. And a session can help to view relationships through a different lens, understand past life abilities and talents, and bring them forward to the current life. Causes of fear and anxieties can be discovered and released. Even pain can be relieved and removed. So a question I'm often asked is, can everyone be regressed to remember a past life? Well, it's not for everyone. There is no one therapy that is suitable for everybody. There's no one way to know for sure if you can access your past life memories until you give it a try. Okay, so research has shown us that about 95% of people can access their past lives. Not everyone experiences the same levels of hypnosis as this is entirely subjective to the person and their ability to be successfully hypnotized. So the past life regression techniques that I use during the session have been proven. However, a past life regression is an advanced type of therapy. And the ability to be hypnotized and fully experience a past life regression lies with the person being regressed. So your ability to access your past lives has nothing to do with how many books you've read, videos you've watched on the subject, it's up to your soul's readiness and your openness and willingness to participate in the session. So it's important to understand that hypnosis is not sleep and the client will be aware during the session. Hypnosis is an altered state of awareness. It's not sleep and the client can still analyze and think. Now I'm available for face-to-face -face sessions in both of my clinics. My clinics are located in Springwood in Brisbane and also Helens Vale on the Gold Coast. And for people who are un unable to attend my clinics or are overseas, I'm available for online sessions on Zoom or Skype. Now to read about our work and this amazing therapy, our book Soul Regression Therapy is available on Amazon or website if you want to find more our book is also available on our website at spiritualregression.com.au if you'd like to give me a call and have a chat with me my number is 0411-886-796 so i very much look forward to meeting you in the future and thank you for watching my video today